Victor, I'm home, darling. Little later. Three. Victor, I'm home, darling. One minute, 37 seconds later. Victor, I'm home, darling. 12 seconds later. Victor, I'm home, darling. Five minutes later. Hello, Paul Pounds. Lots to talk about in today's video. But first, a quick word from today's sponsor. Australia. There's a woman's world in Australia. Yes, there's a wonderful woman's world. <laughs> and it's a great place for families. Cut out the coupon on your TV magazine. There it is. And find out about Australia. Sorry for the lack of content that I've made over the past couple of weeks. Um, I'm just exhausted. It it must have been difficult for key workers. Um, and I, I mean all key workers, NHS workers, supermarket workers, pharmacy workers, everybody that's kept the nation going over the past year. Essentially seeing everybody have a holiday for a year and they're having to crack on with work. I'm sure that that was very difficult. Um, but not doing anything for essentially a year and then suddenly going back to work full time, I'm cream crackered. And I do apologize. Um, I've just been getting in from work and sleeping and it's, it's brilliant being back. I am not complaining at all. It's wonderful seeing my gorgeous clients who are eager to get back into my chair and the everybody's providing me with really interesting work to do um not just run-of-the-mill stuff everybody's wanting more artistic stuff doing which takes up more of my time but i love doing it i love being back with my crazy gang at the studio i've missed them so much and they're all bonkers and wonderful so yeah um i've just been knackered sorry so let's get on to the competition winner i'm going to uh put my email address as a reply to your comment it was uh for this copy of the scourge by nick sharman which is a great book and i asked people to comment and say what is this dude looking at and the winner is Steve Austin. Thank you, Steve. Steve said that the Scourge Eye is looking at his bank statement after I've introduced him to the wonders of horror pulp fiction. That's something I can empathise with. All the all all your entries were brilliant. Thank you. Um, and as I'm hunting out and about, if I see anything that I've already got that I think is quite cool or that I've really enjoyed, I'm going to start picking them up and doing a few more little competitions like this. Nothing major, just like, I've really enjoyed this book and I've found it, so who wants it? I did kind of want to do, well, I actually tried to do a slightly different format video for you guys. Um, I bought a GoPro and 
I took it with me. I had one. I managed to have one day off going round charity shops, um, and I thought that'd be really cool to film like book hunts. But I didn't find any books of interest at all. Um, I didn't buy any books. I got a couple of like reissues of thirties, twenties, uh, and thirties rhythm and blues, seventy eights, and. Uh, a handful of vintage ties. <laughs> no books. But it's something I am... I've got a couple of ideas for taking you guys out and about book shopping with me, which I'd, I'd love to do. So uh, I have got a couple of ideas, so stay tuned. So let's get on to what I've been spending my hard-earned money on. It's it's pretty much all online. I've been, uh, been hunting around online. So first up is like a twofer. Two for one. So I got the Star Bumper Books of Horror, which are brilliant. So they reprint the, there's two in each volume, the first four Star Books of Horror, which I've been after for a little while. And these, these were a cheaper alternative because um, they were very, very cheap. And I got them and had a little look at them and thought that's, that's quite a cool contents list for each one. And me and a very dear friend of mine, we buy each other a little book haul every Christmas. And although I've got his, and with restrictions lifting, we're allowed to meet up in a couple of weeks and we're going to get together and do middle-aged man stuff. Um, I thought, oh, I'll grab him these because they're really cool and just add them to his book haul. And no, they're suddenly really expensive. So I'm sorry, mate. You know you are, but these aren't going to be in your book haul. Uh, I managed to get a copy of the John Pertwee Book of Monsters that I thought I already had, but I didn't. Can't find it anywhere. Um, it's weirdly priced. Some book dealers have got it on for a couple of quid, but they go quite quickly. But most book dealers seem to have it on for like 20, 25 quid, which... I don't like paying that much for something. But it has got a copy of a story by John Halkin, who regular viewers of this channel will know I'm a bit of a John Halkin fan with his crazy 80s horror books. Just finished Bloodworm, and that was just brilliant. What else we got? I got a nice Charlie Grant edition. Um, it's a New English Library. It's slightly later than I get for, you know, I avidly collect for New English Library. It's like 1990, I think. But I do like a bit of Charles Grant when I'm when I'm just chilling a bit because he, he really is that, he does that kind of quiet horror, that subtle unease really well. Next one I got is a non-horror book. <laughs> I've been wanting this for ages. So it is First Blood by David Morrell and it is the book that Rambo uh, was based on. It came out in, was it the early 70s? Uh, 1972. And uh, I'm not a big fan of the Rambo movies. I'm a bit more of a Death Wish man. I prefer Bronson to Stallone. I'm, I'm not a big Stallone fan, I must admit. Um, but when that came out, the book reviewer for, I think it was Time Magazine, gave it a very scathing review and described it as gornography um, just because of the levels of gruesome violence that's in it. So ever since I kind of heard that, I'm like, I want to read that. And early editions are quite collectible, I think, with with Rambo fans. So that, that one's kind of mid-80s. It's not the edition I wanted, but uh, at least I get to read it. And it was... It was super cheap. It was like at the couple of quid mark. Um, I got a really pristine copy of the sequel to The Sucking Pit. How nice is that? Very pleased to get that. Um, I got Cannibals, which I never got around to picking up. Um, and that's another weird one price-wise. There's a few copies for like four quid, four or five quid kind of thing. And then there's a bunch of copies for 30 to 40 quid, which uh, 
I always kind of get it raises flags with me because as soon as the cheap ones have gone, if any, and the, the obviously the cheap ones are going to go first, and then it's the expensive ones that are left, and then anybody listing one is going to look and go, hey, these are all forty quid. I'll put mine on for forty quid, and then all of a sudden that book has that value perpetually almost even though it might not be worth that i've done videos on paperback prices and i'm not getting into getting all stressed about it i got some uh, graham masterton books i got the gin uh, i just need the sequel now the tonic <laughs> look at that dude didn't he have a lovely time on that i like his eyebrows i'm gonna grow mine like that or at least get them tattooed on like that i'd look awesome so this is a lovely 80s uh, star book. I do like star books. Um, I've kind of, I do avidly collect New English Library, but the the amount of time stuff comes up that I haven't got New English Library wise is, is quite rare now. Um, and I'm getting to that point with Futura Horror as well. There isn't loads coming up that I haven't got. But Star's a really cool publisher. They did some great horror. So I've got another Graham Masterton star book, The Pariah. That's such a cool cover. But yeah, another lovely star edition. And then I got, I've been after this one for absolutely ages. Um, it's a bit disturbing for me because I really don't like cockroaches. Um, I've had them for my tarantula once. And I, I got it in the feeding tongs. They really freaked me out. So I was a bit like, I, I go a bit like uh, that woman in Tom and Jerry cartoons that stands on a stool and lifts all the petticoats up, kind of screaming. I got exactly like that. So feeding me tarantula, uh, cockroach in the tongs, held it over the enclosure, let go, and it clung onto the tongs and scuttled up the tongs and up my arm. And I'm just like, oh, horrible things. But anyway, this is a great book. Um, the day it arrived, I, I, I was working and I got back, opened the little parcel and there it was. And I thought, I'm just going to have a cup of tea and read the first story because it's, it's nine pages long and it's a belter. And I just, carried, I've just, I just kept it with me and just carried on reading and it's such a good anthology. Um, I do really like Mary Danby. I think she's got or had a brilliant eye for horror. She did a lot of the Fontana horror books and I'm looking for short stories to like revamp the Sunday story I want to I, I love doing family friendly stories that was the idea with the Sunday story during lockdown however old you are everybody can get together and there's going to be nothing un too unpleasant even some of them are a little bit gruesome but that's all right kids love gruesome stuff I always did and so um, yeah, the the new format for short story type things. I'm, I need to finish Eat Them Alive. That's my focus for storytelling. So there will be more coming very soon, Eat Them Alive. Apologies if you've been waiting. Um, but I want to I wanna beef up the Sunday story a little bit with something. Stories that are a bit more intense. So, and there's some, there's some absolute belters in there. So that's what I've been wasting my money on, that and cat food and vintage ties. So I hope you're all doing all right. Um, and I hope you're all keeping safe and well. And I hope you're all managing. If you've been a key worker, thank you very much. I genuinely appreciate it. I think we all do. And I hope you now with the world's getting back to normal, I hope you manage a little bit of downtime. And if you've been in lockdown for a year, essentially, and you're struggling to reintegrate back into that world, then I, f I feel your pain. So, thank you for watching, guys, and I will see you very soon with more groovy book collecting content.